Hi everyone, welcome back. This is going to be the fourth and final story of the Love Character Maker Kit. And today we're going to read about how we can love somebody by serving them. And serving somebody means to do something for them, even if it might be unpleasant for you or inconvenient for you, but you do it because you love them. And our story today is going to come from the Beginner's Bible, and it's going to be on page 437, Washing the Disciples' Feet. The disciples were Jesus' best friends, best of friends. They did life together for three years. They went everywhere together and ate everything together and had a lot of experiences together. And they needed their feet washed. So we'll see how that is love today. So if you have your Bible, turn to page 437. Here it is, washing the disciples' feet. Jesus and his disciples gathered together for a special Passover meal. Jesus knew he would be leaving them soon. So this happened actually before last week's story. Do you guys remember what happened in last week's story? Jesus wears God's kingly crown. This is before they were in, went to the garden to pray. They had a meal together, and they're talking about this meal. So at this special Passover meal, Jesus knew he would be leaving them soon because he would have to go to the cross soon. After supper, Jesus removed his outer clothing. He wrapped a towel around his waist. Then he filled a bowl with water. Jesus washed and dried the disciples' feet one by one. Look at their feet. Do you think their feet were dirty or clean? I think their feet were probably pretty dusty. Then it was Peter's turn. He said to Jesus, Lord, you should never wash my feet. Jesus answered, I must wash your feet for you to be part of my kingdom. Then he said to them all, As I have washed your feet, you must wash each other's feet. By doing this, Jesus showed his friends how to love and serve each other. It probably wasn't the best smelling job, (laughs) but Jesus did it willingly. He did it lovingly, and he did it 12 times, one for each of his disciples. And he did it because he loved them and he wanted to serve them, even though it might have been unpleasant for him. He did it to show his love. And he said, be like me. Just like I washed your feet, go ahead and wash somebody else's feet to show them that you love them too. You can love and serve each other in many different ways. Maybe you can think about some ways with your grown-up of things that you can do this week. Jesus told them, One of you will turn against me tonight. His disciples were shocked and said, We would never do that. Who will turn against you? John asked. The one I give this piece of bread to, said Jesus. He handed it to Judas and said, Do what you must. And Judas quickly left. So Judas is one of Jesus' best friends, right? Because he was a disciple and he was with him for three years. But Judas is also the one who betrayed Jesus and gave him up to the hands of the soldiers and the leaders who wanted to hurt him. And Jesus knew that about him. But even though he knew that about Judas, and he knew Judas wanted to hurt him, did Jesus still wash his feet? He did, right? In the same way, Jesus says to love our enemies because he loved us. Is there somebody that you can love today and this week to show them God's love for them? This week, we're going to be making a craft using your own little feet. And you're going to be using paint. And you're probably going to get a chance to get your own feet washed and see what it feels like. It's probably going to tickle a little bit. But will you show me a picture of your craft once you're done? I'd love to see it.